Previously, at the end of the summer, the gang split up to go their own ways and start their lives. Frankie and Jackson moved to Boston so Jackson could attend his dream college. Raven and Dexter got a place of their own, Cerise went off to college, and Claudine decided to become more independent and also moved into her own apartment. Heath miraculously got a great job in Paris, and Abby decided to stay and watch over the ghoul's house on her own. And last but not least, Holt got a job as a cruise ship DJ, where he's now sailing the seas and performing for guests. Oh man, tonight is gonna be crazy! This is gearing up to be my biggest DJing event yet. Well, Holt, are you about ready for your gig? We're about an hour away from the port where we'll be stopping and picking up all the guests with tickets for tonight. It should just be a quick stop. Once everyone's aboard, we'll depart and you can start your DJing magic, or whatever you call it. I believe you're referring to my air horn. <laughs> Anyway, I was born ready for this. And what's almost even more exciting than people finally getting to discover my raw musical talent is the fact that all of my homies will be here tonight to see me. Oh, that is exciting. You've been traveling with the company for what, almost half a year now? You must miss your friends back at home. Oh yeah, I do. They're all off getting their fancy college degrees or whatever, but I miss when we all got to hang out more often. Well, this should be a nice reunion for you all then. Just don't let your friends distract from your performance tonight. You've got a lot of people to impress, all right? I won't let you down. Oh, look who it is! Holt! Oh, we missed you so much! Speak for yourself, Frankie. Personally, I have enjoyed the last EDM-free five months. Please, you know you missed me, Abby. You bought a ticket for my show tonight, after all. Yeah, because of the discount you gave us. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come here. Ugh, get off of me, Holt! Ugh, physical touch makes me feel nauseous. You're probably just seasick. Our cruise ship captain is like 80 years old and legally blind, so it can be a pretty choppy ride sometimes. No, it's definitely you that's making me want to barf. Also, what? Well, how are you guys? It's been so crazy sailing the seas without y'all. We've missed all of you so much! We gotta catch up with everyone briefly while waiting for the cruise ship to dock, but so much has happened since the summer. I can't wait to hear about all of it. But first, I gotta go finish setting up for my show tonight. I've got a crazy big crowd waiting on me. I'll catch up with y'all later. Whatever you say, Holt. Wow, look at Holt with a whole career and everything. He's come so far. Well, I won't be impressed until I hear his music. If it's anything like that terrible dubstep he always used to play, he still has a lot of improving to do. Yo, 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 people! I can't believe all of you came out tonight to see me play. I am so stoked and totes grateful for all you broskies. Woo! Go Holt! I know you all can't wait to hear what I've been cooking up in the studio, and I promise I'll get to the tune soon. But first, I want to dedicate this show to my homies who came out to support me tonight. I've missed you guys like crazy. I want you all to live it up extra hard tonight. You hear me? All right, now let's get jamming. Yep, still the same old Holt and his god-awful dubstep. Some things never change. Abby, there you are. Ugh, we must have gotten separated in that massive cloud of fog in here. Seriously, can't they turn the fog machine down? Those things have a lower setting. They do know that, right? Seriously, you've got to turn that thing down. People in here are suffocating. I can't find the power button. Well, look harder or else people with asthma aren't going to survive this event. Oh. Well, thank God you guys found me. I'm not strong enough to survive this show on my own. Plus, we hardly even got to catch up with each other earlier. I'm not done asking questions about your life. Yeah, you gotta tell us more about what you've been up to for the past few months. Oh, you know, nothing exciting, just being a homeowner and keeping up with the house. Oh, and I may have started an Instagram account to troll Jackson anonymously. Wait, what? At JacksonJHater99 is you? Duh, of course I had to find a way to mess with you all the way from across the country. My life would have no purpose without bullying you. Oh, Abby, we gotta get you some help or something. Come on, let's go watch Holt's show and kill some more of our brain cells. Oh my god, I can feel my social status dropping just by making an appearance at an event like this. I can't believe that sucker Holt convinced me to come see him again. I totally didn't miss these losers or anything. Ugh. Hey everybody! So, what did you all think of my sick new mixtape? Fire, right? Oh yeah, it, it was great. Yeah, super great, Holt. It was straight garbage. Okay, so now that I've got some time to chillax with my fans, you've got to fill me in on what y'all have been doing. Clearly, as you can see, I am thriving. My boss even said I might be in the running for a promotion soon. Me and Dexter have been thriving too. He's so bummed he couldn't make it, by the way. He sends his well wishes. 
Oh, that's all right. I had my buddy Deuce live stream the whole show. I can send him the link. Hey, homies, what's up? Oh, no, please don't do that. Well, I can't complain either. My classes are going good so far, and I miss you guys like crazy, but I can't lie, having my own place is pretty nice. Claudine must feel the same. She couldn't be bothered to even show up to say hi to us, apparently. So rude. Yo, Claudine actually hit me up the other day. Apparently she's out of town with her family on a holiday trip right now. Okay, she's forgiven, I guess. Glad to hear she's smoothing things over with her family after her and her siblings almost had a full-on brawl at her kitchen table last year. Well, me and Jackson are having a great time up in Boston. It's so beautiful there. Jackson loves Harvard, and I love watching him live his dreams. I'm a lucky gal. Yeah, no complaints from me. I haven't been struck by lightning yet, and it turns out I actually kind of fit in at Harvard. Who would have thought? Of course I miss all of you guys, and most of all, I miss my best friend for life, Gil. I was kind of hoping he'd be here somehow. I know that's wishful thinking, though. I know you and Gil were never that close, Holt. Well, actually, Jackson, I have good news for you. Guess who reached out to me to get a ticket to my show tonight to surprise you? What? Hey, Bethdy. Gil! Aw, two best friends reuniting! What a beautiful sight! Ugh, this is nauseating. Well, I see you saved the best for last, clearly. I know all you lame simpletons have been dying to know what I've been up to this fall. Well, besides living my dreams and being a fashion icon in Paris, of course. Wait, where's everyone going? Don't you guys want to hear about my adventures at my amazing job? Why aren't you excited to hear about all the beautiful boutiques I could shop at? Yeah, uh, sorry, Heath. I gotta go catch a plane to go back home. See you never. Ah!